I am absolutely torching everybody in NBA 2K25. Is it because of a skill gap? Am I just that much better than everybody else? No, I'm just the first person who actually figured out how to dribble on NBA 2K25. And more specifically, I'm the first person to find actual good dribble moves on this game. And that has led me to not only looking better than everybody else, but has also made me nearly unbeatable, winning my first 45 games of NBA 2K25. So if you want to dribble like this and actually have fun on this game, all you got to do is watch the whole video. What's up, Simply Squad? It's your boy, Dribble God, grinding. And I'm already knowing y'all are tired of moving like a slug in this game. So I'm going to do y'all solid and just get straight into the dribble move. All I ask for in return is that you drop a like and drop a sub with notifications on. Because tomorrow I am dropping the best 6 foot 6 and 6 foot 8 builds on this game, as well as the first ever 99 overall gameplay the world has ever ever seen so make sure you're subbed with notifications on so you don't miss out on that and with that let's save y'all's dribble move all right y'all here we go first move we're gonna talk about is the dribble style this is super important because two of these dribble styles are the only known speed boosts in the entire game the first one being Jalen green if you equip Jalen green you can cross launch aka do a crossover and get a speed boost so the way you're gonna do this is the balls in your left hand you're gonna switch to your right hand and you're just gonna move your left stick to the left and as you can see, if you do this, you actually get a speed boost. Whereas if you just go to the right and try to go to the same side, you will never get a speed boost doing it like that. Also with Jalen Green dribble style, all of your other dribble moves feel really smooth. Y'all seen in the clips, I was absolutely cooking on day one. People really could not guard me. But the one problem with Jalen Green dribble style is when you do this cross launch, it kind of sends you a little backwards. As you can see, it didn't send me straight to the paint. It sends you like one step backwards and then you can go wide and get to the paint, which is a positive and a negative. It's a positive when you're going for a dunk because it sets people up for insane posters in the paint with the angle that you go at. But it's also a negative because when you go for a three, it launches you all the way back. So you have to stop for a second and then shoot. Honestly, I've been using it for like 50 games now. So I've gotten used to it. But at first, it might feel a little clunky to y'all. So if it does, we do have one more option for our dribble style. The other option for our dribble style, the only other dribble style that also gets a cross launch speed boost is Devin Booker. Yes, there's only two in the entire game that you can speed boost out of and the consensus right now is that Devin Booker's is actually better because if you see you can do the cross launch and you can go straight to the paint as well as just control your player better so you can go up to the three-point line stop and shoot easier so again the ball's in your left hand you're gonna switch to your right you're gonna move your left stick to the left and you're gonna do a cross launch speed boost I know most of y'all are used to only using your right stick you have to incorporate both sticks this year pause but you do have to incorporate both sticks so get used to it and as for every other drip move and how it feels with Devin Booker it still feels pretty smooth I actually might switch to this myself I've been using Jalen Green for the my first 50 games like I said but right now Devin Booker is feeling like the move so Devin Booker dribble style so you know what I'm gonna try it on stream today I'm gonna put it on we're gonna see how I like it if not I'll change back to Jalen Green but y'all should try both and see what you like the best by the way make sure to follow the stream twitch.tv slash simply grinded the links in the description we stay live every single day for eight hours and I answer every question y'all have about 2k25 and if you don't know what makes me qualified to answer every question you have, I'm a 97 overall on day one with a 98 win percentage in 50 games. One thing to note about dribble styles, the only reason these two are the best is because De'Aaron Fox dribble style is not in the game yet. So the second De'Aaron Fox dribble style gets in the game, throw both of these in the trash and put on De'Aaron Fox. Trust me, you will not regret it. The next move we're going to cover is our signature size up. While Devin Booker's might look slow to you, it is actually the cleanest signature size up that I've found so far, allowing you to combo effectively especially into the cross launch. I don't really spam my left and right stick, so this being slow doesn't matter. But if you look, you can combo between dribble moves very easy with Devin Booker's signature size up. I just like to do the one dribble move to switch ball hands before I do my other dribble moves like my escape or my behind the back or my snatch back. I like to use Devin Booker's signature size up to effectively switch my ball hand so I can go to the side that I want to. Another good signature size up, just in case you don't like that one, is Baron Davis' signature size up. This one's a lot quicker than Devin Booker, especially on the standstill. You can see that the standstill drip moves just look a lot cleaner with Baron Davis on. But my problem with Baron Davis is the cross before the cross launch is very slow. I don't really like it. It feels really clunky, but everything else is very good with it. So if you don't really like doing the cross launch, which if you don't, I kind of feel sorry for you. You're not going to be like speed 
boosting that crazy but if for whatever reason you're more of a standstill dribbler baron davis might be a better option for you as you can do it quicker than you could with devin booker overall i'm keeping devin booker but trying both and see what you like regular breakdown combo i went with steph curry no particular reason for this i don't really use this move that often anyways i'm not gonna spend too much time on this i just like that steph curry's changes my ball hand a lot so again i could change my cross launch to wherever side i want either left or right so i put stephen curry regular breakdown aggressive breakdown combo once again don't use this that often the only reason i chose Kyrie's is because he attacks the basket manually and if you don't know if you run straight at the basket you can actually turn around and sprint backwards super quickly as well so you'll get people to jump in the paint and then you can get a free three it's very cheesy so i like Kyrie irving aggressive breakdown now into the more important moves your escape moves you honestly cannot go wrong by choosing a lot of these but in my opinion right now De'Aaron Fox is the best by far just look at the space you're creating when you use this move all you have to do is hold RT and flick your right stick diagonally up to the right or diagonally up to the left depending on which side you want to go diagonally up to the right if you want to go right diagonally up to the left if you want to go left and you create so much space but the best part about this is you can combo this with your cross launch so for example I'm dribbling with my left hand right I'm gonna use De'Aaron Fox escape and then I'm gonna cross launch to the left so look De'Aaron Fox escape to the right and then cross launch to the left and bam you get a free dunk free poster because they took that one step to the right to follow you and then you got the perfect angle and same thing darren fox to the left to the right bam easy and then free dunk and i literally start every combo with this move so if the ball's in my left hand i'm gonna do darren fox and then behind the back every single combo i do you see like a darren fox escape in between all of them because it creates so much space and the possibilities are endless with this move just a super good chaining move to not let people know where you're going but there are some other ones that are good i like Kyrie irving's because it goes through the legs and creates a lot of space which if you don't know between the legs is probably like the most unrippable move in the entire game it's just really hard to get a glove animation on it and if you want to create the most space possible it's either john Morant or Damian Lillard but they're very slow in my opinion I don't really like how slow they are plus they don't really combo into the moves that I like to do very well so I went with De'Aaron Fox my combo move so far is Trey Young I just like how it feels every time I activate this move by spamming my stick I just like how Trey Young feels he doesn't really explode out or do anything crazy he stays in place and he does a lot of head fakes and movement to get your opponent to back up a step so I could get my free three I don't really have any suggestions other than Trey Young for this one so I think we're just gonna go with Trey Young all of them are kind of slow and clunky and Trey Young felt the best to me. A moving crossover is Lonzo Ball. There's no explanation needed for this. We've played other 2Ks. You know this animation by heart, bro. It's been in like five 2Ks in a row, bro. You know this exact animation. It's very good for fast break driving done. I keep seeing people say Lamella Ball is Magic Johnson. Bro, this is like the slowest Magic Johnson I've ever seen. It's not worth it. Go Lonzo Ball. He's the better brother anyways. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. And now probably the most important dribble move in the entire video. Behind the back, Darius Garland. This behind the back is probably better than 90% of the OP behind the backs we've had every year like Jamal Murray the explosive behind the back from 2k20 I put this right up there with those because not only do you get a ton of space you can shoot off this super smooth it doesn't give you a gather at all I have to show you this in action look at this look how much space that creates look how much space that creates. and look you can stop it whenever you want and shoot anytime you want anytime in that animation you want you can shoot the ball the value in that is absolutely insane they could have really destroyed this your move by not letting you shoot off of it at all but instead they gave you a free inch of space for doing nothing but a behind the back and if y'all don't know greening in this game is extremely easy when someone's just right next to you you have to get an insane contest to get any type of contest in this game so darius garland behind the back is absolutely suit if it looks a little different than my gameplay that's because i had trey young behind the back for the first day but i found darius garland after i got off stream and now i will be using darius garland like it is my job to do so if you want you can try trey young if you liked what it looked like in the clips but darius garland in my opinion is just a thousand times better and then to close out the final drip moves i have spin trey young i do not use this move honestly i just picked one that looked decent i was looking for the basic spin back it's not back this year unfortunately i tried i really wanted it back it's not back if someone finds a Way to do it without using your left stick please let me know but i just don't think it's back my hesitation is darius garland again no real reason it's just that every other one pretty much has a hitch there's probably a better one in here that i haven't found yet but it's not really that important because you can't same size speed boost anyways no matter what you pick and then finally the step back that i was using that was getting a ton of ankle breakers trey young this move right here that one where i do like a little side step and back up that's the move that gets a ton of ankle breakers gives you a ton of free threes i absolutely love it if you have a better step back for me let me know i'll try it on stream again 
again i'm streaming right now while you're watching this video so come through the stream and finally my triple threat style is michael jordan it's just the one that felt the most like kobe you can do the same exact kobe spin out of and then step back if you play 2 get 24 you know what i'm talking about especially if you played the one score you can do that exact same animation with michael jordan step back instead of kobe and that's pretty much it for the dribble moves now some pro tips for y'all so you can dribble like this on day one. First of all go to your controller settings and put on absolute for both for pro stick orientation and off ball offense mode off ball offense mode doesn't affect your moves i just think you should have it on pro stick orientation affects your drip moves heavily so if you can't do the drip moves i'm doing it's because you don't have this on camera relative changes your drip moves depending where you are in the court you don't want that you want your drip moves to be consistent so make sure that you have on absolute and then once you have on absolute get in the my court and practice your drip moves do you think that everybody just goes out and starts cooking up on day one no we all put the time in we all chest out our drip moves in the my court if you want to be elite you're gonna have to do the same thing and a lot of people been asking me this how do you change your difficulty in my court if you click start you look on the bottom right it's a slider preset city you can change it to rank pro am rec rank through v3 and city the difference is city and rank have an increased green window because that's how it is in the actual city and rec and ranked pro am and rank 3v3 have the lowest green window possible rank 3v3 being the hardest one to shoot on so if you can shoot on rank 3v3 you can shoot on everything right now i'm practicing for park so i'm on city sliders and this is how you're gonna be dribbling when you get in the park with these dribble moves your main goal is to combo your escape move with your snatchbacks and with your behind the backs as well as your signature size ups in between to make it look more clean if y'all need an advanced dribble tutorial let me know in the comments i could do that for you but tomorrow i start my six foot six through six foot eight journey if y'all are wondering what the best moves are for six foot six through six foot eight don't worry i got y'all soon it's coming up i'm dropping my six foot six and six foot eight build tomorrow so i need to lab up those drip moves and it'll take me probably a couple hours to find out what the best drip moves are in the entire game so y'all hold out just a little bit longer i got y'all go have fun and i will save y'all when the time comes all right thank y'all so much for watching i love you all and as always keep grinding Bali. Falling, who can we never be falling? Yeah. Rachel, she never be calling, still hitting shots while they steady be taunting. Falling, falling, who can we never be?